Hello and good morning guys and welcome back to Costa Sura. Today uh, we'll be continuing where we left off but with a bit of a twist because I was reviewing the footage I got from uh, recording the whole map creation and realized it's just way too many hours. It's something like 12 hours or so for the networks and interchanges and I could not find a good way to cut that down or uh, condense it down with uh, time lapse um, because I cannot hold the camera still if my life depended on it in this game and if you speed things up too much it's just gonna look very very bad and it's gonna give you probably motion sickness so I'm gonna do something a little bit different today I'm gonna load into the map in the map editor and sort of live play through how I did the things and like sort of talk about it at the same time rather than uh, showing you when I actually did it. Um, so hopefully that's gonna work out. Um, I mean we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Before we start with that tour I want to talk a little bit more about the, the height map uh, that I got. The height map are from heightmap.skydark.pl that's the website it, it should have been written everywhere uh, I mean it was but there's some more information about it now that I know and uh, some more tricks you could say for example um, that whole step in this in the first video where we did the gimp editing to create a difference between the land and the water to create a coastline we don't really need that because we can use this slider here, the water depth slider um, uh, and the water side slopes. I'm not entirely sure how they work, but I know that they that way work. I've tried them, but I'm not really sure what they do. But this would fit, make things a lot easier if you're making maps um, to separate the, the, the height, uh, separate the, the water from the land, basically. You can also uh, I guess it's blur water side maybe smooth it a bit and draw streams draw streams was very cool uh, I recommend trying that one um, and that's all about that there, there's I've also been made aware that is there are um, uh, height maps you can get that include the underwater topography as well like uh, sea floor information but I haven't quite figured it out where to get that from uh, from uh, this page yet so but uh, I've been made aware there is there is options so let's go back into this view here um, first thing I want to show is how I made this highway system or like the, the road system in general and the, the first and most important I guess thing about making roads like this is the, the famous quote from Lee Hawkins, let the terrain be your guide. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna work with that today. And my idea is that I will make an extension like this road that connects up to the highway here from this roundabout. Instead of having it just connect here, let's have it go through here. Let's go have it go through this this complicated terrain here, and we reach the map edge somewhere around here probably. Um, and change this so it's a it's a four-way intersection or interchange instead so I will try to show you like live how I would do that my best ideas and techniques for it and uh, hopefully it won't take 12 hours this time uh, I'm gonna disconnect it right here uh, and uh, actually I'm gonna drag it out a little bit more straight um, the reason why I picked this particular sort of route is that this is very similar to how the, the highways look and work in general. So um, I think it's a good um, a good representation of the, how I would have done it the first time around. Um, let's just see here. Would this work? I think this would work pretty fine. Um, just make sure. Let's have it like plenty below the the bridge so that the lights don't clip. If the lights clip, uh, it annoys me. But there's no cars in the game that are that high, so you don't you won't have cars clipping just because your lights are clipping. 
another way to sort of solve that is by using move it to move them out and stretch it out like this and now we don't have uh, the lights under the, the bridge at all um, we can raise it up to maybe there um, you can also remove the lights using mods like network skins but we don't need to do that today this is fine this works perfectly perfectly adequate um, and let's see here I'm gonna drag out um, a road that goes let's do it with the let's do it with the ground node first the ground type of road it's gonna make things a little bit easier so it doesn't automatically tunnel for us um, I think we should try to make a curve going around here but actually you know what no I changed my mind change my mind uh, this map has a lot of tunnels for these roads and we'll do the same here and but it's a good thing because we get to sort of show how how it works to do these tunnels in a good way because it's not super obvious how we would do it and um, I feel like I have a relatively easy good way to make it so I'd like to show that okay um, you might notice I'm just dragging these roads out. I'm not bothering about the terrain. Like this road goes over the thing. And don't worry about that for now. There's, there's, there's mods. There's mods. We will fix it. Um, we'll use the network multitude a lot, and um, you will see why it's so powerful and so useful. Um, okay. Okay. Actually, let's make it a little longer, like 36 more. Um, actually, you know what? Let's make it go straight through here. I like to make networks in multiples of 12 to get the sort of longest uh, segments by default. I think it's a good, good practice, but it's, yeah, it's not at all necessary it's um it's more of me being a bit extreme so like for example 96 is a multiple of and that's going to be harder let's do two multiples of uh, 12 which is 48 plus 48 also works and uh, maybe the curve was a bit big so we'll delete one of the segments actually let's delete two um Before we get too far, I actually want to show another another trick to make a very important or good trick uh, we can use here, um, which is starting to use the network multi tool. So we could have. It's quite possible we have a situation where we have like where we drag out like small segments like this on the map. It could be like yeah curve or it could be a straight segment or whatever but we know we want this curve here for example uh, and we want to connect it to this guy and then we can just use network multi-tool can use the the one curve or the loop tool I suppose it is called uh, that's not gonna work because <laughs> we don't have intersecting points but we will have to do the double loop version instead we're gonna create one and we'll create another one on this side and then we'll have something like that I I do realize I said let the train be our guide and seemingly just completely disregarded that but well it will make sense later we're, we're trying to follow the general flow of a landscape and you you kind of will see that um, it's a bit of a backwards way of doing things but trust me it's gonna be fine um, I think we need to delete one of these segments and um, ah now we can use this one okay perfect I'm gonna leave a small just dragging out the radius here I'm just gonna leave a small straight segment of like around a hundred meters which is a good practice in real life to have like uh, at least uh, Swedish highway building standards is 
having short segments of the straight road between curves, but actually primarily having highways be at curves, like slight curves, almost all the time. It's it's a little bit interesting. I took a course on that earlier this year actually and learned quite a lot about it. Um, not that I'm any master or anything, but it's kind of interesting. Interesting stuff, especially if you, uh, you like building these things in city skylines. Take courses. Can recommend. Uh, now I'm just deleting the trees here so we can see what we're doing. Um, we could have used some different settings so that we wouldn't have to worry about this that much. Um, but I'm not gonna delete all of them because some of them will probably still be there um, due to the fact that we will tunnel through a few of these ridges. You can sort of already see where um, you can sort of probably guess where we're going to tunnel. Uh, there's, there's some few <laughs> bumps on this road. Um, it's pretty important now that we just drag the straight road over the water that we play with the simulation pause. Uh, shout out to my friend Serjak. Um, otherwise you would get some flooding or it, it would take some time for it to reset when we fixed it. So. Basically, what I would do now is I would go into the set slope uh, tool of network multi tool, and I wouldn't do this for the whole uh, the whole uh, length of the road in one go, but I do it in say in parts, like so. So we try to match it, align it basically with the terrain, if you will. Let's try it there and see what happens. Ooh, that's a bit tall. That's a bit tall, but we can go in to move it and we can lower it. Something that feels a bit more in between, like how the terrain is. Like this, this is okay. Um, this is perfectly fine and there's actually quite the slope here. I did not realize. Um, interesting. Well, you're always gonna have, you're always gonna have slopes here and there. So probably this segment would follow this um, this mountainside a bit more. Um, let's just redo that before before we set anything in place. I I, I think I think it's going to be worth it. And um, let's go back a little bit there because we can do this small small straight segment like this. And we'll do a curve. Ah, I realize we can turn on the, the curvature of the terrain as well. That's a height contour, as it's called. That helps a lot for this kind of stuff. I'm using the toggle it mod to, to have it enabled this way. Um, but there's... I suppose, I think there's other mods and ways to turn it on as well. So, Like even the... This thing here is pretty good, but then you can't have it while dragging out the roads, I believe, so... Um, I think this guy will have to do a bit of an extra turn, something like that. And something like that. And you know what? Let's cheat a little bit. Let's lower this down a little bit. To something like that. And let's see what happens now when we smooth it out. Oh no, we accidentally selected the wrong tool. <laughs> I do this all the time. I did the arrange at line, which creates a nice looking uh, sort of curved line from between the points, but we should have selected set slope. So we'll have to actually redo it. <laughs> maybe I'll cut this out. Maybe I'll keep it in as a, as a warning. So we'll try once more. Uh, and um, something like so. Actually, I don't really see why we shouldn't just make it go straight here. All the way into the map edge. Can we just move it to align it, the, the connection perfectly? So it's a, like a straight road going to the map edge, through the map edge. 
And now, selecting this tool, the set slope mode, let's go back and um, do the same thing again. Okay, 4.9, that's perfectly adequate. We like slopes. Slopes can be more for uh, highways and roads than they can for railways. So for railway, we would have to worry a bit more about this, but this is perfectly fine. Um, I'm trying to work with the concept of cuts and fills as well um, when we're doing this, which basically means the same amount of of uh, of ground that you uh, dig up like to make sort of um, tunnels or trenches for the road you use the same amount relatively nearby to make um, raised parts of the road raised parts of the, the infrastructure or the, the right of way so that way you don't have to move so much material around uh, which is preferable like a lot of the material also required for building like the roads like like the asphalt and uh, and the concrete they would be coming from the actual um, from the site as well like from from the depending on the the soil as i suppose but um, you would try to source the materials as locally as possible so so it's a good good idea to um to have a little bit more cut than fill uh, if that makes any sense. So now we have a very nice, uh, mostly very nice uh, sloped, gentle sloped road here that follows the terrain you could say. <laughs> it doesn't really follow the terrain but if we discount the three tunnels we've, we're gonna create here it follows the terrain really well so the next step, the next step here would be to uh, it would either be to upgrade or we can parallel it. I think we're gonna do the parallel first. We're gonna select the parallel uh, road tool here. And we are going to drag out like so, tab on the other side, tab, other side, tab, other side, tab, tab. Oh, tab. I'm not saying tab. I'm just clicking. You can't click in one go because it will um, basically um, be too long. You have to do it in smaller segments. So uh, we can do it all the way here, but I don't think... You know what? Actually, let's see. No, it doesn't create the edge connection. So we'll have to drag this out manually, the last one. But that's fine. Um, and like so, I'm going to align it to the same height and move it into a good place like that now it's in a good place I'm a little bit annoyed by the fact that there's a bit of a bump here though can we let's just lower them to the same height make a flat connection usually that's the best um, now we have two roads going all the way Ugh. and uh, some glitches touching it up with move it almost always fixes the glitches it's like one of the un uh, the sort of extra functions of move it. It just fixes things. It's, it should be called fix it. Um, now we have basically the road. Uh, now let's do the upgrade. Uh, let's change these segments to be what they're supposed to be. We're using the fine roads tool or the fine roads anarchy. Um, sometimes you have to double upgrade the tunnels for them to actually upgrade um, and and the final tunnel should go something like that we could like fine-tune the tunnel entrances so they don't look as big uh, the reason why there, there's grass here by the way is because we're in the acid editor and we don't have the mod that um, enables tunnels in asset editor right now um, or we don't have a mod that sort of fixes the train it will when you load into game this this will when you load into game and unlock these tiles i should say it goes away or if you use some other mods called common ground uh, but that's fine uh, let's smooth out the entrances a little bit using the train smoothing tool 
Yeah, this works. This works. This works perfectly adequately. So, next step would be to make the viaducts or the bridges. I'm... I feel like I'm gonna get some... I'm gonna get some trouble for saying, let the train be your guide and then... Then I went and did basically more 50% tunnels and 50% bridges. <laughs> But I hope you get the point at least. It, it depends on the map and geography and what you want to do as well. And here I'm trying to show how I made this very expensive, very many ways a bit extreme highway. Um, this is not a normal case, a normal style of road you would want to build probably. Um, here I'm not really d uh, very happy how this turned out. So I'm going to actually make the outer road here. A, um, for most of it probably yeah I'm gonna make the outer road here we can do it a bit of a viaduct over this small gap so that we can sort of have runoff coming under underneath it actually we're gonna make a bigger gap than I intended first but that's fine that's fine um, but I'm gonna keep the inside be ground level actually for a bit so I'm gonna do that um, let's see here. Um, how does it look? How do we make it look the best? I think this is is fine. There's, there could be some smoothing because the game creates these sort of flat nodes by default when you transition between bridge and. Um, and ground and also in the map editor it acts a little bit differently so it's going to be a bit, bit more bumpy than it will be in game um, select the right tool we'll try to smooth it out one extra time and see if we can we can probably fix it up a little bit at least um, let's go down there something like so but we have a pretty smooth, uh, we have a pretty smooth road for the most part now. But I'm gonna show you a bit of a trick that we can do to make it pot potentially even better, um, which is using the keys here. Uh, I am going to use the create parallel like this. Create parallel. Um, let's just do it all the way for now and then we can delete it if we don't want it for some segments. And then I'm going to use the minus key. Hold shift to make it jump multiple meters at a time. And then a key which will be different on your keyboard because mine is a Swedish letter <laughs> for up and down. Um, to make, take it down a little bit and just place it. Um, now it forces the terrain to be on the wrong side, but we can fix that again with move it, the fix it mod. Uh, it looks, yeah, it looks like it's gonna help us almost everywhere. Now that's pretty neat. Um, sometimes you have to struggle more with that. And then we get these nice kind of looking retaining walls underneath the highway. So it looks like Someone has actually thought about building this. So, so now we have the highway connection all the way to the map edge here. It does the tunnels, does the nice bridges, viaducts. You could argue it's a bit excessive with the amount of uh, bridges and tunnels still, but I think this is pretty neat. Um, so depending on how long, we've been going for 24 minutes. I might separate this into uh, the next part into a, a separate video but and if so this is how I built the highways in Costa Azura basically if you're liking the video so far by the way uh, feel free to uh, like and subscribe and uh, and uh, then you won't then you'll um, get more of this basically this is this is this is my YouTube this is what this is what I do here Okay, let's start remaking this interchange here. Ah, you see, we didn't even connect it here properly, but um, 
That'll be done in time. Oopsie daisy, we removed more than we wanted to. Oh, that's fine. Can just replace it using the replay. No, I'm just kidding. It's the it's just the road tool, I guess. Um, this final segment here, let's do it. And if we're lucky now, it will actually snap to one or both edges. Yeah, it actually snaps, so it actually did connect, even though we did select the wrong road. <laughs> so we'll have to upgrade it. Um, and drag out something like so. So what we want to do here is I think something like a parklow or a dumbbell would be the best idea here uh, I think actually we're gonna do a sort of parklow but we will probably try to make roundabouts on uh, both connections so let's start by doing that basically let's start by doing two uh, two roundabouts uh, and I'm gonna do I'm just gonna drag out the roundabout somewhere, like it doesn't really matter where. And it doesn't even have to be round, guys. Look, I'm gonna just exaggerate it for effect. Look at that beautiful roundabout. Because we can use network multi-tool to arrange it circle and select. Ta-da! It's perfect, isn't it? I mean it is perfect, so um, technically. Now or geometrically. Now we just move this into place. Um, Something like, I'm trying to think here. Actually, I would like to add another node to this because it's gonna make things a lot easier for us. So I'm just gonna use the add node, like so, and do that. This is very much gonna be the network multi-tool, the most, the most network multi toolist tutorial I've made so far. Ah, we failed to select all the nodes, so we have to select them again. It's fine. Let's move this into the place here, and do I do I know what I'm doing now? I think something like this would make the most sense, and then we try to align it to the height of. Let's try to align it to the height of the road, and we can make it a bit smaller using the plus and minus keys. We move it. I think that's a good call. Uh, just remember, if we do that, we might actually squish it a bit, so we'll do the, the rounding thing again. And now I'm gonna do another one on the other side, somewhere here. This interchange will be a little bit wonky and in unrealistic, because the roundabout will probably be partially raised. Um, I mean, it will be partially raised. Um, but it's gonna be fine. You know, it's gonna be fine. Um, it's connected from this side, something like that. Let's connect it on that side and connect it on this and that side. I'm taking a little bit of both inspiration from real life, how roundabouts, I mean, I'm trying to, it's not actually, I shouldn't say I'm, yeah. This one, this connection is a better connection because coming into a roundabout, like the idea is that you should need to slow down and sort of take, um, do a bit of a braking before like sort of deciding, oh, now I can go into a roundabout. And the way out should be a more smooth connection in general, but it's not always gonna be possible. Uh, the point is I've been building symmetric roundabouts for a long time, but um, I've more and more realized they aren't very symmetrical, both from like real life and um, I mean, I guess shout out to uh, to Yumble who did the pinwheel roundabout, the, which actually shows this, um, like how you can use this in a very nice and tidy way. Oh, the pinwheel roundabout. Um, hmm. I would have wanted to change this. Maybe we'll change it later. It's fine. Uh, let's do the connections first. There's always like more fine tuning and. Uh, that's probably a big reason why the last video went on for 12 hours, so. <laughs> uh, or the last video, the, 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 the video I recorded went on for so long, so. 
But I have to say, I that was the the last video was the first time I ever tried to make a a, a voiceover like a really long like an professionally edited something like that video. But I have to say, I'm not very fond of that way of doing. It. It's like it's not very me. It requires me to think more. It requires me to prepare more and. Uh, it, I don't know. Let me get, let me know what you guys think. Like, what is the best? What do you like the most? Um, of course, I have like more experience like streaming this game than than actually making a YouTube for it. So it feels more natural just to talk about what I'm doing on screen and and playing the game. Um, but I'm I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Like, whatever you would think. Fits, fits my style style of playing the game the most. Let's do another node there. Okay, so this is one way of doing it, like basically the eyeball way. We we could we could make this in better ways. We could use network multi tool to a much larger extent. Um, and I kind of a little bit regret I didn't do that, because it might have looked prettier. But to prove a point that we can make things like this anyway. Okay, let's let's do something we should have done a long time ago. Let's delete the trees. Let's delete some trees here so we can see what we're doing. Um, this connection here, let's actually use it now. Okay. Oh. Let's actually show, show the mods. Uh, here we have a node. It would look very good if it was symmetrical, so let's just do that. I'm gonna select here and here. And I am not getting the results I would want. Interesting. Huh. Why is it doing that then? Okay, now it is. Ah, some maybe it was just ah, maybe they never actually intersected and that wouldn't have been ah okay that makes sense. So if the distance like they actually never intersect on the map, they can't do a one loop. They should be able to. Do, ah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's not let's not question the game too much. It's having a hard time as it is keeping up with all our commands and inputs and. Um, and now we use the parallel tool to create a parallel network here, which is probably the preferred way. It's like a pretty neat way to do it. And we'll do the curve thing to, to connect it up there. And now that I see how pretty it is on this side, I want to redo it on this side. So we'll just have to do that. <laughs> um, this way is a almost guaranteed way to make it look look better. So. Um, gonna have to do a little bit. Actually, what we can do here is ac this is actually a bit um, a big brain moment we could have right here. We can select this guy here and mirror it like that. We've mirrored it over um, and try to put it where we fit it. We think it fits the best, and it seems to be. Ah, I see. Okay, so that's how you did it. Okay, interesting. Um, connecting here, connecting there. And uh, can we select this guy again? And create a node par like exactly at the same point there. It doesn't have to be exactly, but like good enough. That's good enough. And now we should be able to move this whole thing into place and snap it, holding on Alt. So it actually snaps on that position. Um, don't worry about the directions or the types of roads. We'll 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 sort that out. Uh, like when we're finished, essentially. And 
but just since I noticed that now, I did 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 go ahead and change it to the correct road. It's, this is going to be the one, the one lane highway road, uh, for the most part. Um, that has more curves than it needs to have. Let's do it this way instead. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it this way instead. Actually, yep. And. Uh, Some fine fine tuning the networks. Connecting this lost ramp here will be a thing we do. Um, and can we connect this up? Can we make it? Can we make it behave? There might be... Yes, there might be some interesting stuff going on here, actually. What if... Okay, so that guy connects there, and this guy should connect there, but it didn't do that. Ah, okay, so we have a bit of... Um, we have a little bit of imperfections here. Let's make all this ground level, considering it's now basically ground level anyway. Um, let's elevate this to that level. And fix it with the fix it mod. Uh, move it, aka. Like so. Uh, let's do the same here. We need to... We need to do a little bit more fixing here. Ah, and here the reason why it's bad is because there's another node relatively close here. So we don't have to do that much in this case. We just have to drag it out a little bit. So it's still snapping to this uh, connection here, but it's a little bit better that way. Um, let's see if we can try to make this, this la ramp loop smooth by using not this tool. Select the wrong tool again. And smooth this on the inside to five degrees. That's perfect. Um, should be something similar here. Yeah, six degrees. That's fine. Uh, now I'll raise it up to the same height of these no these nodes to the same height, basically. And yeah, well, that's good enough. It's like not. It's not perfect. Um, one thing I did do here, which I didn't really talk about, is we can have a a two lane or like a wider road going into the roundabout, which would basically be like, oh, if you're doing a right turn, you can get into the right lane. If you do a left turn, you can get into the left lane. Uh, this is how I've done the roundabouts, most cases on the map, like this. It's not necessary, it's not obligatory. Um, you kind of need to set it up with TMP to function that way anyway, but it's a neat little thing. I think it looks pretty cool, so we'll do this here as well, even if it even if it creates us some heartache with um, with these a um, little bit awkward connections sometimes, or like awkward um, bumps in the road, because this will create a bump. This uh, this transition between a one one lane ramp and a two lane road. And what if what if we smooth it out a little bit more? I I kind of feel that there might be a mess up here. Yes, there is a very big mess up. It needs to be the right direction look over are all the directions right all the directions are right it seems now so um let's remove some more trees some more trees um yeah it's pretty smooth it's pretty smooth it's not it's not in any way perfect but it's good enough um let's smooth it out to the existing road a little bit and 
between the roundabouts probably don't need to but here we definitely need to because there's a it's a bit of an awkward situation so let's see what happens actually if we do like smooth it out over a longer distance like uh, we have some we have some margin to uh, to fix to fix the the smoothing here I do believe like we could do it all the way here. oh that's a three percent grade okay that's uh, more than I was hoping for but it's three percent all the way that is a lot I guess we are working in the mountains. Um, this is this is the kind of stuff that happens in the mountains. So, I mean, I shouldn't be too worried about three percent, but that might uh, mean that we need to push back these uh, tunnel entrances a bit. So we'll do that. There's a lot of back and forth, as you might be able to notice as well. Like. Um, you fix one thing and then you might have to go and fix something else. So this is also another reason why map making and this map or map making in general can take quite a long time. Playing the game, I mean, we're basically just playing the game in the editor, but okay. We made the tunnels a little bit longer. I kind of like this, just popping out and saying hi to the world. We can make, we can make it like a little bit of a ravine underneath it. Like it, or like just make the valley go a little bit. So you can sort of see, like there's a seasonal river or something like that. Being runoff there is not, it's not limited. Um, okay, let's see what happens if we ground, we ground our nodes, ground our nodes, that sounds very Grounds are ground our roundabouts, basically I should say, and I think it looked de it looks decent. Um, I'd probably fill in this area here with more of the keys. So let's try that. Um, minus 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 minus. Oh, oops, too much. If we're lucky now, it, it's also gonna snap to the key. I think it did, yeah. Yeah, that's decent. Um, and we can have a sort of ground connection on the inside. So, what would be left here, actually? Like, I would like to just fix up these connections a little bit. Like, I would like to have them a little bit closer. Uh, like a little bit smoother so let's add a node here and let's add a node here as well um, because if we do so we can connect a new uh, connect a new road like that and it can be straight uh, from the start we can use move it and uh, snap fix it and then we can remove using the minus button every remove node mode to remove the, the previous nodes. I feel, feel like that's the easiest way to, to, to move the nodes around about if you have this mod. So and we'll do the same here. Um, and I would not I would say this turned out pretty good. It's not it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I'm relatively happy. Um, there's always like more to do. Like uh, even with those 12 hours of footage I was talking about, there was actually countless of hours after that, just going in and countless, <laughs> like quite a lot of hours after that, just fixing small things. So there's always more you can do. Um, I think we'll try to make these two segments bridge and see how it actually all the way to the to the tunnel entrance because that way you sort of get the idea that here there's a bit of a runoff from that from this uh, valley up here I think that's a neat thing and that's it for the intersection part the intersection and the, the, the networks basically we've created a new outside connection in just 45 minutes <laughs> It's a, it seems like a lot of time, but trust me, this is this is um, 
this is pretty good um, when it comes to the train connections like you do something similar but just remember like trains want even bigger radius curves and trains want even less um, uh, percentage height um, difference percentage slope so I've done the rail lines here relatively f flat and straight where they can be and have them go at almost sea level very straight very low all the way through the map to the edge so basically the same thing about rail connections but more <laughs> same but more but I hope you liked because this is probably now okay let's say we're cutting it here this is this video this is the networks video uh, I hope you liked it if you liked it uh, like and subscribe and uh, share it and uh, and press the notification bell and then you'll see the next video which will be the details we'll do the trees and we'll do the details uh, so we will be looking at probably the same format because I like this a lot we'll look at how we make these castles uh, I want to show like tricks like these breakwaters um, highly requested so I want to show that and like the general trees like what goes on there how do we do good trees so that's going to be the final video of this series and um, I hope you liked it. Uh, I've already said that. I guess we can just end the video. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>